Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, is on Ellen. I know! <laughs> New address. Harry is loving it. What's he love so much about California? We're just happy. New gatherings. Thanksgiving dinner. Will you cook? Yes. What time should we show up? <laughs> and the new baby. Lily is now teething. Anything to relieve that. Tequila, that. anything. That's Auntie Ellen for you. Yep. That's why I don't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> and all new Ellen starts now. Our first guest is a mother of two who played hot girl number one in the movie A Lot Like Love. Also, she loves redheads. Please welcome my friend, Megan the Duchess of Sussex. I do my They're such a great crowd, and they had no idea you were here, and this is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> this is really, you said the last talk show you did was like, I don't know, another decade ago, but you yes. used to come to this lot to audition all the time. Oh my gosh, completely. I would park at gate three, and then I would scoot on over, and what was so nice is the security guards here would always say, break a leg, we hope you get it. So the drive-in today was... Very different. <laughs> but they, you auditioned that often that they knew you to say I think they probably said it to everybody. That's oh, how nice they were. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. um, so your car that you used to drive to auditions was a very, um, a oh. very special car. Yes, it had a life of its own. So I had this very, very old Ford Explorer Sport. And at a certain point, the, the key stopped working on the driver's side. So you couldn't get yourself in through the door. So after auditions, I would park at the back of the parking lot. And I would open the trunk and climb in and then pull it shut behind me and crawl over all my seats to get out. That's how I would come to and fro. <laughs> Oh my God! I know so it was not. Did ideal. anyone ever see? I know you parked far away, but did anyone ever see you climb through a trunk? No, get... no. I would play it off. I would go like, "Oh, I'm just looking for my resume and my <laughs> highlighters for my script. Oh, maybe it's back there." And, and then, then crawl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. Oh God! The things we do. That's uh, we we met. Um, God, I don't know how many years ago. That how long ago a was long that? Long time ago. Well before I was even on Suits. I think over a decade ago, maybe. Right. <laughs> But we met at a pet shop. Yes. And I was going there to rescue a dog, and it was right around Christmas time, and you would come in at the same time, and you just looked at me and said, are you getting that dog? Get that dog. You have to take that dog home. I was like, well, if Ellen said I have to take the dog <laughs> home, I'm getting this dog. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't okay. even, I, obviously, I didn't know who you were. I just, I just love people rescuing pets, so as soon as you were holding the dog, I was like, take it. Take it. it. I said, okay. Yeah. And yeah I, did. I will. And you yeah, did. I did. I, I listened. That. I love that. Um, I, obviously, we are neighbors, so we see each other a lot. Yeah. Um, and I love that y'all moved here, and mm -hmm. Harry is loving it, right? He loves it. What's he love so much about California? Well, we moved here during lockdown, I mean, exactly when things shut down. So we've just been able to spend a lot of time at home and creating our home. But I think it's just the lifestyle and, you know, the weather's pretty great. Um, but we're just happy. Yeah. That's not them there. That's not... <laughs> oh. That's not your backyard. That is not our backyard. That was at our... When we announced we were engaged. That was a long time ago. Yeah. So you've been married. You've been married for three years, but when y'all were dating, you had to really keep it quiet. And, yes. And you went to a. You got to go to a Halloween party. <laughs> we did. He came to see me in Toronto, and um, and our friends and his cousin Eugenie, and now her husband Jack. They came as well, and the four of us snuck out in Halloween costumes to just have one fun night on the town before it was out in the world that we were a couple. So you went with Harry to a Halloween party, and they had no idea it was the two of you. No. It was a, a post-apocalypse theme, so we had all of this very bizarre costuming on, and we were able to just sort of have one 
final fun night out. Now, there are people at home going, I was at that party. Oh, right. They, 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 <laughs> I'm sure. They're like, I was at the post-apocalyptic party. That In was Toronto. Yeah. Which ones were they? Yeah. Um, and we kept saying this Halloween, we were like, this is your chance. You can go out. You can get dressed up and actually go out. But y'all chose to stay home this We were year. home and we saw, we saw you guys, which was great. But no, we wanted to do something fun for the kids. And then... The kids were just not into it at all. Archie was a dinosaur for maybe five minutes. Not, no, not even five. <laughs> not minutes. even five minutes. He he put. Finally, Harry talked him into putting the head on. Um, but Lily was a skunk. She was a little skunk. It was so cute. I know, like flower from Bambi. I mean, just. Like <laughs> but Lily is now teething, so you're not. Yeah. You didn't sleep last night. I no. love that you're here, but um, oh, of course. you're not sleeping at all. Well, she's a good sleeper, but the teeth are coming in, so. You know, any moms will understand that where you go, they might be the best sleeper in the world. And then the moment that that's happening, you just have so much sympathy for them. So, yes, I've been up most of the night. But that thing that when I was uh, giving her that, that's a great teething thing. I'm sure everyone knows this. But when you put it in the freezer and it's cold and oh, it's on yeah. their gums, that really soothed her. And that's great. Or old school style, you just take a washcloth and dip it in some apple juice or right. All the moms are nodding. You go anything, anything to relieve that. Tequila, them. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't tried that yet. Yep. I don't know. That's Auntie Ellen for you. Yep, that's right. <laughs> that's why I don't have kids. Yeah. <laughs> And Archie is, he seems very interested in her, but there was, it was a weird day because he was, he, they hadn't been sleeping. They hadn't but is been he a good uh, big brother? He loves being a big brother. I think it's just, you know, everyone tells you, actually someone told the, t told H and I that when you have one kid, it's a hobby and two children is parenting. <laughs> and suddenly we realized, oh, right. Everyone talks about what it's like for the second child, but no one talks about the adjustment for the first child yeah. when the second one comes along. So yeah. I think they have that moment of like, oh, this is fun. Oh, this is how it is now. Well, he's so sweet. <laughs> he's so sweet. All right, we're going to take a break. More with Megan after this. We are back with Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. Duchess of Sussex is hard to say. Duchess of Sussex. Say time five times fast. Duchess of Sussex. You say it five no, times I fast. I can't. Duchess of Sussex. Um, so uh, you were born and raised in Los Angeles. I was. What did you do? Where did you lived in Hollywood? Mm -hmm. I did. I lived in Miracle Mile growing up. Mm -hmm. So right by LACMA. Uh -huh. and Learned how to ride my bike at the La Brea Tar Pits, all that area. And then, yeah, stayed here until I went away to college in Chicago and then came back. Um, and uh, you, I learned this about you. Uh, you made scrunchies and sold them at school. I did, yes. Now, what, how innovative of you. Um, <laughs> what did you make them out of? <laughs> well, I, I would ask my mom to take me down to downtown L.A. where all the fabric stores are. And you could buy the remnants of fabric really affordably. So I would get some of the remnants and I'd buy the elastic and tie the knot. And I had a little sewing machine and, you know, just made scrunchies and sold them at school. This is when I was in elementary school. So this was, I was what, nine? That's amazing. And then yeah. did you go on to want to like sell other things or you would just, that's the one thing you thought, oh, I can sell these? No, it was a thing at the time. And I guess they're back now. People are wearing scrunchies again. Portia wears scrunchies. Yeah. So I should, I'll bring some over and see if she wants to buy any. some to Portia. <laughs> <laughs> she can afford it. Um, you and Harry are on the cover of Time's Most Influential. Uh, 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 congratulations. First of all, Thank I you. agree. Um, and I think, you, you know, when we were talking about this, actually, uh, Halloween is, is how important, you know, certain issues are and, and paid family leave. Mm. And that's a big one for you. And that's uh, and I think most women, most most families can identify with how important that is. I think people truly forget that or don't even know that in this country, it's one of only six countries in the entire world and the only wealthy nation in the entire world that does not mandate and have a federal paid leave program. Everyone knows, especially if you've had a child, and if you haven't, you know how hard it is and how critical it is in those first few weeks, if not months, to be together as a family. And the fact that we don't offer that here is something that now as a mom of two, I will do everything that I can to make sure that we can implement that for people. We're back with Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. And uh, <laughs> you guys say it, Duchess of Sussex. It's a lot of S's. It's very hard. Um, so the bench uh, by uh, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. Um, tell everybody about the book and uh, why you decided to write this. You know, I wrote this originally just as a poem for my husband on Father's Day. And it was about my observation of him and... You know, him being a dad, which was the most beautiful thing to watch. And, 
And that was really the intention of it. And then once it was shared with a couple of friends and, and people that we were close with, they said, no, this resonates for me, too, because it feels really inclusive and there's representation. And it's just a, like a sweet love story between a family. And um, so I said, OK, well, let's turn it into a children's book and then made sure that all of those pieces of it, especially the softer side of masculinity, the softer side of fatherhood, to be able to see that um, and try to include it all in there. And and make sure everyone felt like they could see themselves in these pages. Because I remember as a little girl, you can always see someone that looked like you. And yeah. I thought that was really important to have everyone's story feel like it was unfolding on those pages for it's, them. It's really sweet. And then Thank does you. Archie know he's in here? Does he know that's him? And what does he think of the book? He does. On that first page that you right. open and you see our dogs, he goes, that's Pula, that's Guy. Um, and my dog Guy, his name is that because I'd gotten him from a shelter years ago. And he was so tiny, his name was just the little guy. And I was like, we'll just call you Guy. Um, so Archie gets very excited to see the dogs and to see his chickens also there it's really it's it's very sweet and he's so sweet with the chickens too i mean archie is yes. just such a gentle soul oh, he, thank he you. really is um but so this is not the first book you you wrote another book when you were younger and uh yeah yeah, yeah. and then let's show the the picture you drew of yourself in the book it was a school assignment. What was it called? Uh, the Girl a, Without a, Freckles? A Face Without Freckles is a Night Without Stars. That was my self-illustration. <laughs> but, you, I mean, you, no, you don't have to clap for that. Did you do that? Yes. Did you do that? You say that like that's impressive. That's a terrible little drawing. I, I yes, couldn't I draw that. that. Oh, yeah, and, I do and, that. And then, based on your hair, let's talk about your hair. Well, this is what I look like. So this was around, I was 10 or 11, maybe. And <laughs> the reason my hair looked like that then is because I was obsessed with Andy McDowell and Four Weddings and a Funeral. And all I wanted was that perfect little <laughs> curly haircut. So I asked my mom, went to the hairdresser and got it. And on that first day, I was like, this is amazing. I look like Andy McDowell. Let's do the first day first. In four weddings and a funeral. Yes. And then it was as though everyone forgot to tell me, you have ethnic hair. You are not going to look like Andy McDowell in four weddings and a funeral. And that's what it ended up evolving into. And I go to school and they said I look like Krusty the Clown from The Simpsons. No. It was a real bummer. But yeah, and I've, I've got a whole vibe happening there. Too. Wow. Yeah. No, you look like you're embracing it. Um, so uh, Thanksgiving dinner, who yes. will you cook? Because yes. I know you do like to cook. I love to cook. I love to cook and we'll be home and just sort of relax and settle in. It's our second Thanksgiving at home in California. So it'll be nice. Yeah. It'll be really nice. That's, um, what time should we show up? Because I didn't, I didn't, we didn't talk about that. Whatever time you want. Okay. Come on over. All right. Probably early, like seven-ish? PM? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Twitch, uh, during the commercial break, we were talking about you. Oh. Megan wanted to say something. Because I love the videos you and your wife did when she's pregnant. Oh, thank you. Are you, you thank joking? You. I love them so much. So some friends had sent me a couple of them, and then I just started to watch them, and I looked at Harry. I was like, we should do this. He's like, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't move like that. Well, if you need some choreography, I got By the way, I might take you up on that. Absolutely. You're a good dancer. Oh, you, thank you. No, you are. You're a really good dancer. I love to dance. Archie loves to dance now, too. Yeah. You say that. I haven't seen that yet. He Soon. Ha Maybe right. without the dinosaur costume. I'll be right. more into it. But anyway, no, you're a great dancer. Thank you. All right. Uh, hey, we're going to, uh, first of all, oh, the bench. We're going to talk about uh, something in a minute. The bench is available everywhere. Books are sold. And today, you're all going home with a copy. <laughs> When we come back, uh, Megan, uh, we did an IFB earlier where she had to say and do everything I told her to do, uh, which, which was, uh, it's, it's good. <laughs> we'll be back. So uh, when Megan and I were talking about her doing the show, the first thing you said to me is, I want to do one of those IFBs. Oh, I love them. Yes. Yep. So uh, sometimes we have vendors on the lot here. They come and sell different things. We never know what it's going to be. So earlier, uh, we set up some hidden cameras around those vendors, and I sent Megan out to do some shopping. She wore an earpiece and had to say and do everything I told her to do, and I sent one of my writers that I named Puama. Uh, <laughs> I just came up with Puama. Puama. Um, anyway, I also gave Megan a purse. And she had no idea what was in it. This is what happened. Megan, you're going to stay at the stanchions until I tell you to walk in. Okay. Allison, you are going to go over to the vendors, and you're going to say, Hi, my name is Kwama. My, 
job as I'm the executive's assistant to the Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. Megan is here today on the lot. She'd like to come over and shop. Please treat her normally, like anyone. Hi. Hi. My nice name is Plama. My name is Plama, and I am the executive assistant to uh, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. And she's here today, and we'd love to just shop normally. She just wants to be treated normally. Just normally. Just Please don't normal. try to act any other way. Don't try to act any other way. Just totally normal. Thank you, 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 thank you. All right, go back and get her. Now, Megan, if you can hear me, touch your elbow. All right? Touch your nose if you can hear me. Okay. Do a squat if you can hear me. Okay. All right. Okay, perfect. All right. You're going to say everything I tell you to say. I know. Oh, this is a lovely day. Oh, this is a lovely day. A lovely, lovely day. A lovely, lovely, a lovely day. Lovely, lovely day. Lovely, lovely like day. Bill Weathers says, like, lovely day. Like Bill Weathers says, a lovely day. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's go. go down to the crystals. Well, we, we have crystals? Oh, we have crystals. crystals. Oh. Oh. I haven't been shopping in a while, and I love it, and I miss it. I haven't been shopping in a while, and I love it, and I miss it. I love it, 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 I love it. Can I touch things? Can I touch things? Can, can I touch them? Watch me, Pwama. Pwama, watch me. Watch me. <laughs> good energy, good energy. Good energy, good energy, good energy. Good energy, good energy. Good energy, good energy. Okay. Okay. I have healing powers. I have healing powers. Can you feel my powers? Can you feel my powers? Let's just be silent for a second. Let's just, you know, let's just be silent for a second. Pick up one of the crystals and hold it against your head. <laughs> I'm going to hold this against my I'm head. I'm going to hold this against my head. Let's go to the next table. <laughs> what do we have here? What do we have here? What you got? 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 Well, we do a variety of uh, vinegar-based hot sauces. Let so... mommy taste some. Let mommy taste some. Uh, like no. taste some? My boo loves hot sauce, so my boo loves hot sauce, so I want to. I want to try some. I'm going to try it. Start you with a mild one. Pounce up and down. You're very excited. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Eat it like a little chipmunk. Mm, mm, that's not spicy. That's not spicy. Okay. Let me try something real hot. Let me try something real hot. Okay. Mommy wants some heat. Mommy wants some heat. Like a chipmunk. Let's get the spiciest. Let's mm. get the hottest. Let's get the spiciest. Let's get the hottest. Let's get the green. Just shove the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Lordy, lordy. Lordy, lordy. Oh, lordy. Oh, 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 oh. I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. I'm feeling hot, Mommy needs some milk. Get the milk out of my purse. Mommy needs some milk. Oh. <laughs> Give me my oh, milk. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now drink it. <laughs> I'm going to come back and buy some in a minute. I'm going to come back and buy some in a minute. Okay. Okay. Can mommy have a sample of this? Can mommy have a sample of this? Yeah, definitely, by all means. What's your name? What's your name? Yasmin. 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 Nice you know, you. you want to hear a joke? You want to hear a joke? Yes. Okay. okay. Why, why did the elephant put his trunk in the cookie jar? Why did the elephant put his trunk in the cookie jar? Why? <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? It's funny, it's funny isn't it? It's a funny one. It's a funny one. Like a chipmunk, real fast. <laughs> now 
now start talking to her. Yasmin, you know what? Yasmin, you know what? You know what I do for my kids to entertain them? Do you know what I do for my kids to entertain them? Take the two <laughs> things out that you put on your head that have little ears. Tom and I are going to show you. Tom and I are going to show you. Mm. What, what mommy does. What mommy does. Tom, you put one on. Tom, you put one on. And I'll put one on. And I'll put one on. This is what I do for my kids to this, cheer them This is what I do for my kids to cheer them I sing a little song. I sing a little song. I'm a kitten. I'm a kitten. Mew, mew, mew. You're a kitten. You're a kitten. You're a kitten. Mew, mew, mew. Kwame, you sing it too. Kwame, I'm a kitten. Mew, mew, mew. 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 Give her the ears. Here. <laughs> and you'll start singing and keep singing till I get there. I'm coming now. Hi, Mac. Mew, mew, mew. Mew, mew, mew. I've been telling her what to say the entire time. She had to say only what I told her to say and nothing else. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Y'all Thank right. you so much. Your cookies are delicious. Yeah. So is your hot sauce. Love the kisses. Bye. Thank you, guys. I mean. good sport. I know. You three were great sports. Thank you so much for, for acting normal. <laughs> as normal as you could. All right, we'll be right back. Hey, Megan, you want to hear something? Yes, please. Okay, well, there's an amazing woman in our audience today who recently went viral for help, helping kids in her community of Nashville. Mm -hmm. I heard about her. Where is Brittany Starks? Where is Brittany Starks? show. <laughs> you can take your mask off now. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ellen knows my name. <laughs> so, are you having a good time? Yes. yes. I'm enjoying myself so much. We were so touched by your story and just we know you're a single mom. You, you have kids. What are your kids' names? Kaden is nine and Sanaya is seven. No. Sanaya is seven. No, Sanaya is nine and Kaden is seven. Okay. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you don't have kids. It sounds, it sounds like me telling, tell, telling you about my kids. I'm so mad. So, so the past few months you've been braiding kids' hair yes. and uh, for your com community. What, what inspired you to do that? So, um, well... A friend of the family ended up giving me a backpack full of clothes and school supplies. At that time, I was in between homes. I didn't have anything until the, my next paycheck. So I'm like, how can I get back? Because mm -hmm. I know how that made me feel. Mm -hmm. And I started braiding hair. For, Just for free? For free. Mm -hmm. I posted it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I could have used you <laughs> with my with That's my Andy enough. McDowell haircut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would have been helpful. But you came up with this because you were a hairdresser, right? Yes. So I braid hair. That was one of my three jobs at the time, and so I ended up post, making a Facebook post asking, you know, is there anybody who can't afford to get their child's hair done that needs their child's hair done for school? I literally thought it was going to be five to seven kids. And it turned out to be 35. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my gosh, 
was like, I have three jobs. <laughs> yeah. But what am I going to do? But we end up getting it done. And, but how many kids have you helped so far? I have helped over, well, we have helped mm -hmm. over 150 kids. I mean, to think that you did this while you had three jobs, like you said, you thought it was just going to be a few kids, but you didn't say, no, I can only do a few. You just kept going. So yes. tell us about Twists of Greatness. So a Twists of Greatness is my nonprofit. Um, we ha host a free braiding event every month um, for free for kids. They get to choose their hairstyle. They get a gift. They get a free book. Um, then we also are partnering with the schools. It's been four schools so far doing hair. Um, we are having a clothes drive and a coat drive, a toy drive. We have a mentor program, and we are also starting to travel. We're going to be going from different cities. Yes. Well, we love what you're doing. Of course, we want to help. We've been partnering with Tisbest, and they want to give you $20,000. At all, as soon as Megan heard about this, Megan and Harry want to make sure your charity gets on the right foot, gets off on the right foot. <laughs> so they want to give you a, a twist of greatness, twenty thousand dollars as well. So. <laughs> Visit tisbest.org. We'll be right back. We are back with Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, and I'm really happy this worked out. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate mm -hmm. it so Thank very much. Thank you for having me. And Brittany, Brittany, there's one more thing that I forgot to tell you. Tisbest Charity gift cards are a better gift for any occasion, so they want to give you a $5,000 gift card to donate to any charity of your choice. This, honestly... <laughs> And this has been this has been so much fun. Thank you. I mean, I, I just love being able to get here to surprise Brittany with these gifts. And I'm kind of I'm thinking it'd be fun to do it again. Surprise somebody else? Yeah, like maybe the whole audience. <laughs> I guess you're all coming back for 12 days of giveaway.